Yeah, I don't think it's an overstatement that it's been a fairly frustrating holiday travel season for an awful lot of people, nationally for sure, and here at LAX as well, particularly here at Terminal 1. Let me give you a couple of examples. Dave Fleming and his family were going to go to Reno for a ski trip, but after hours and hours of delays... We're done. We're leaving. But Dave says... We're in a bit of a pickle because our bags are still on the plane. And his wife, Jen, is downstairs with the kids and... We're trying to get it pulled off the plane so we can go home. <laughs> it's a story we heard over and over again in the arrival area of Terminal 1. We're going to Vegas. Uh, flight got canceled, which is fine. But they did a terrible job at figuring out where people's bags that were canceled are going. We were delayed. Our flight was 255 delayed. There was a lot of storm issues. Uh, causing planes uh, to get delayed from other parts of the country. When things start to go wrong, it just is a domino effect. Clint Henderson with thepointsguide.com says that resulted in a ripple effect. Yeah, we're up to almost 3,000 cancellations across the country today, and that's not even including delays. So once those planes are out of position, you start a chain reaction, and, and it just ends up being real messy for a lot of people. Because of delays, Robert Borowski was stuck in the Oakland airport for four hours. He says there were lots of cancellations and delays up there, but when he got down here, he couldn't find where his bags were. Before we left, he did. My oversized bag just came in. I got my golf clubs. Tonight's going to be a great night. Not what I had planned, but it's working out all right. Merry Christmas. Right, Merry Christmas for sure. You know, Clint Henderson with ThePointsGuy.com says this is something that could stretch out for, for a week or maybe even more because of that ripple effect that he was talking about. So as always, two pieces of advice. One, stay in touch with your air carrier. And number two, give yourself plenty of time when you come out here to LAX. At LAX, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News. Chelsea, Haley, back to you.